in all fairness, when I did his podcast, they made me take my shirt and jacket off. How right. cute you guys match. I know. Ew. We well, always we, do we, a green thing because we couldn't do it last time. That's right. <laughs> He showed up, oh, and I... Pure filth. Irish. Look at us, the three of us, huh? We look like two guys that tried to get in the army, <laughs> and they went, you're too scared. You're the draft dodgers. They're even, like, well, we yeah. wear the green in support. Even yeah. trying but to do don't. a Stripes reboot, they were like, no, we don't believe it. <laughs> you can't play the guy that's not believable in the army either. But the irony is we are both baby killers. Yeah. Like we I, have in our day. I don't, I don't even know if that's ironic. No. Mm -mm. It's just who we are. I'm for sure a baby killer. Well played. How many have you killed? A few. Yeah. Some unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst ones. The They're runners. Like, oh, they call shit. them the runners. <laughs> that yeah. was an accident. We're good. Uh, we're good? Yeah. And we're back. Yeah, we missed that. <laughs> no, we <got> it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And we're back to the unfunny portion of the show. Let's bring it down. Yeah, let's talk take it about down. Our colors. Let's talk about this color scheme. I'm it's, kidding. Uh, we already did it. It's it's an if an olive could be gay. Mm -hmm. That's the color of Dang, our show. You nice. two are pickled yeah. olives. I like it. If an olive could be gay, one yeah. of the gay. I don't. Is it a fruit? Um, olives. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast, where <laughs> we talk about fruit. <laughs> if if Huck were here, <laughs> oh he does he know he, he would know. know. What you want to know what olive is? Oh, okay. uh, it's go fuck yourself. Go and fucking would, the fucking yeah. olive, huh? You know Huck? Oh no, you never met Huck. Who's Huck? Anyway, this is the Comedy Store podcast, <laughs> uh -huh. and we makes we make fun of a lot of Comedy Store employees Related. and yeah. hanger honors and all kinds of people that no one knows. Right. And <laughs> Huck was here for a long time. He was a bartender. Okay. And he went back to Thailand. He um, runs the Thai Mafia. He had to bury no a few shit. bodies. I, yeah. I once, his niece was here and I made a joke to her about it. I go, well, you know, it's cool that Huck runs the mafia there and here he's, he bartends. And she's like, I don't really like talking about that stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that awkward really? moment where you're like, oh, I was, wow. I was trying to yeah. be a dick. But... <laughs> yeah, there's then... been some sit downs about what to talk about with Uncle. <laughs> What's Huck. his name? Huck. Huck. Uncle Huck. Yeah. What the fucking? He used to, yeah, he ran the bar, but he was very funny, very loud. I mean, he was a, he ran the bar like he was Fidel Castro. Right. There, yeah. was, there was flair. You could get he, hurt. He briefly had a gambling night going on <laughs> in the vacant main room. Uh, I like yes, that. Yes, that yeah. was a great night. Yeah, yeah Thai dragons. Times. You'd yeah. show up and be like, what's going on? They're like, yeah, well, they're just starting. I'm like, it's 1.15. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's the time the <laughs> casino <laughs> opens. You walk in, you felt like it was like a 90s Batman movie or something. Yeah. You're like, some bad shit's going down here. Those were the good old days. Yeah. When there, no, the comics didn't have any... Uh... There was no customers for the bartender to pour drinks for, so... <laughs> right. I wasn't here during the good old days, and I showed up for the good old days. And you probably hated it. And I took a lap, it. and I went, these yeah. are not good days. You're like, this, <laughs> we're not, you're not going to have a career. Yeah. And then me and Rick are still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wait, no, the Wayne's Brothers all say, moved on. Oh, yeah, everybody Tony moved on. Tony Hinchcliffe <laughs> moved on. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe, the king of Austin? Yeah. Yes, I just hung out with him. You did? I just did the Kill Tony podcast. Did you go to his house? I did not. I heard he has a nice house. I heard, too. He tells you about it the whole time. Really? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, everybody's like, you got to see his house. You got to see And I just haven't gone. But what about Holtzman? That's the talk He's doing of the town. Great. Everybody's talking about. He's crushing down there. Seriously. I was out there six. No, I was out there in November, and I sat in the back, and I watched like a good four of his sets. And he's doing like an hour, he's hour and killing. a half. He's killing. It's great to see. Is it insane? It's, of course, but. Yeah, Matthew Perry had just died the week <laughs> I was there and he had most no, sorry, of the set Matthew. was about it. Yeah, he's still doing that. Oh, which, is he? Which was oh, enjoible. So it was fresh <laughs> then, it was but fresh now then. it's probably meaner, which I'm yeah. excited about. It's so good though. It's just, man. <laughs> you know Holtzman. Because, yeah. well, I always missed him because I got kids and. Oh, it's late. You know, yeah, he would I don't late. I'd never hang out. I do my set and I go home. And so I would yeah. always see him around. I was like, Who's this like gentle, polite, sweet guy? And then I see him in Austin. I'm like, what the, the fuck? <laughs> Dude, Who let their grandfather what's out? What's great about Holtzman is I went from the other way. So I just was watching him be that for an hour for like nine people for yeah, 10 yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screaming. And so I'm just like, Dude, this guy is out of his fucking mind, but always polite. Yeah. And then like, I had a kid, and he was like, well, why didn't you tell me you were having a kid? <laughs> and I was like, well, why would I tell you that? And he was like, it's polite to tell your friends. And I go, oh, sorry, man, I didn't know. I didn't and know the next night friend. he showed up, and he had a card. 
and he gave me like 200 bucks cash and wrote no. like for use these for diapers or something just like normal and nice <laughs> Brian no Holtzman. Shit. and I'm just like man this so this dude is normal absolutely normal <laughs> it's like the most normal ah uh, that's cool that I had with any comedian when I had my kid everyone else yeah. was like you had a kid <laughs> Like, Brian, ugh, they stopped talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? And then, uh, then my second kid was born, and he saw a picture of him, and then he calls me and leaves me a message. I want to buy that baby. <laughs> Back to Holtzman. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. All right. Things there are normal. He is. He's normal. That's a, yeah. When I was there, we had gone. I went with Egot down to this a donut shop that's pretty famous. A few voodoo blocks down. or something. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. don't know if it's voodoo. Maybe it's. Oh voodoo. wait, wait. There is I think another it is one. Voodoo. Okay. Yeah, it is because they had crazy like cereal flavors and yeah 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 but the not a damn chance burger people his wife has a pastry shop as well and I don't, it's, okay it's a lot it's not just donuts so maybe you went to voodoo the well just either way i one. could just tell the story okay go ahead <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're Is that what she does? They're a sponsor, Greg, so it's important. <laughs> I'll just stare at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Ray Romano. Shit. Oh, shit. We got a blast from oh my the God. past. I couldn't be happier to have him. Wow, the return. The great Al Madrigal. Hold on a sec. Does he have a mic? Door. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice Thank you. God you're here. We would yeah. have to look at Greg the whole time. Uh, <laughs> well, I, was, I heard the Brian Holtzman stories and I wanted to come in. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to throw you off. Big fan? Minute. I got a couple. I love Holtzman. Yeah, the best. Amaletto. Oh. <laughs> have you seen Amaletto? No. With him dressed up as an omelet in an omelet costume? Oh, walking oh. through like a junkyard? <laughs> what, what is that from? I can't remember. <laughs> Wait. Uh, no, and no, no. he... Um, so we were sending it. He had it. a little Mexican sidekick that yeah, was a yeah, little yeah. guy who played, who's Chewy in uh, Pretty the much. Ch Before, no, it was Chewy on like the Chelsea Handler show. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But, and the that guy, guy passed, passed away. away. Oh, that this guy, neighbor guy. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he was Can't dressed up and then he goes, I remember talking to him and he goes, uh, I used to play Bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he was cast as bacteria. Anyway, Dream game. I went, look up if you can find it on YouTube. Amaletto with I, Brian I remember Holzer. sending this clip around. Yeah. yeah, we were we found that it was. He was like an dressed in an omelet costume, and he had a baseball bat, and it was just. He's done omelet. other ones too. <laughs> so subtle. We Bye, we Rick. did. Bye, we, Rick. This is so Bye, professional. In, Still professional here at the world famous comedy store. We're in back. In 2006, we hired him. And I, I wish I could find this video because it was for comedy.com and I got employed as a consultant. And one of the first videos we made was Brian Holtzman trapped in the Internet. <laughs> and he goes, oh, look oh. around in here, the Internet. The and he was floating. We put him on a green screen. He goes, smells like a little Indian kid's dick in here. <laughs> <laughs> he right away. <laughs> what? That's great. And so, what sense memory? <laughs> he, That's weird. Um, is so fucking funny. Did you ever hear the story about the? Uh, I you I hijacked your story. I want to hear your Holtzman story. No, I told it. I oh, was okay. Just, I was just basically tracking that he's gone to Austin and he kind of he's it's got like a, a lot more person. stage time. Yeah. He's like exploding. Just not just like oh people are noticing him, but just like confidence wise. Yeah. He, to me, I mean, Let me sit over here because I have a little something in my throat. Okay, being a, a Indian boy, a store, a oh, store comic, we would sit in the back of the room. Oh just, yeah, and I remember me and Maz <laughs> just sitting in the back so late, just couldn't catch our breath. We were laughing so yeah. much. He had that line at Freddie Soto's memorial. Oh god! He, by the way, he crushes at memorial. Kills oh, at memorial. He's only done one bad one, and it was Brody's. But he goes. Y y you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Oh, because he knew he crushed it. So anyway, Freddie Soto's crushed. friend goes up and said, Freddie would Ricky. love this. Ricky goes up and he goes, Freddie would love if I'm doing this. I need to admit, and this is like a 35-year-old man. Yeah. Right? He says, uh, I'm going to tell you all this right now, and Freddie would, would love this moment. I'm a virgin and admits to the entire memorial at and this open packed. mic in the, the main room that he's main a virgin. Room. No shit. So then... Um, Holzman <laughs> follows him, walks right up to the microphone, and his first he goes, I'll fuck that virgin. <laughs> 
He's not a virgin no more. I'll fuck that virgin. Where is he? Get him over here. <laughs> After the tsunamis hit Malaysia, do you remember that? After the tsunamis hit Malaysia, like the day of. Yeah. It's always the day. Of. He yeah. doesn't, it doesn't There's matter what no, it is. It's right. like the told too soon, not too soon. Yeah. Bring in. It's just the day of no, it's saying hours Matthew after. Perry's death, like yeah, the day right. after he had sure. 15 minutes on it. Yeah. Absolutely. 15 minutes, like the, the Oklahoma bombings. I yeah. remember that. Now I'm going way back. That was the 90s, I believe. Should I center yeah. myself for your You're video? You're doing great. All right. All right. You're doing okay. great. All right. Thank You're so you. comfortable in front of the camera. You really are. <laughs> It's like, you've been on it's like you're making TV. love to it. I always think about Al is the guy that like, um, no matter how much money he ever makes, <laughs> you, he's you're not going to see it. What do you mean? He oh, doesn't act he's not like a flaunter. A, oh, no. Good for if you. If I ever fucking change, I want you to hit me with a golf club. Yeah. Seriously. I, I. What if you just pulled up in a Lamborghini wearing like a gold lame Look, suit? I would love that. All right, that. don't go to the parking lot. <laughs> but what, what'd, you, what'd you drive up here tonight? What'd you drive up here? <laughs> Isn't a Lamborghini amazing? I might. A I, Tesla I, I, with I, the I, doors I dancing. Car. But it's not, it's nothing crazy. It's not like what you've seen in the past here. It's country? very ah, from. What country is it? It's a German made vehicle. Okay. It's uh, my first one. It's, is it a is Porsche? A, it is not a Porsche. Is it I'm an proud Audi? of you though. No, it's a BMW. Yeah. Oh, and it's 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 you know what like souped it up had 4, or 000, regular? No, regular. It regular. had four thousand miles on See? it. When I bought it. He wasn't going to buy it. Regular. Yet. No, he you're an idiot right. if you buy a he's car. He's got now. kids. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah, right. Kids are almost gone. I'm almost in Fitz. Don't say it like that. They're all, oh, yeah. Empty nester. Yeah. yeah. Marona. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about it. My, oh. my son's been in Central America for six months, just fucking traveling around on. They call it, he calls them chicken buses because you get on and everybody's got a fucking chicken in their lap. That's amazing. And he just goes to the little towns. And he's and fine with that? Well, he's, he's, uh, did a Spanish immersion program. Since mm -hmm. he was so he's in fluent in Spanish. So he's yeah. fluent. His buddy's from, uh, Mexican home. So he's, he grew up speaking Spanish. Okay. And they're just like crushing it. They're just Aww. hiking volcanoes during the day. And then there'll be like a rave at their hostel till five in the morning. Oh, Jesus. And he, um, I he was like just telling that. me he's he doing met. all the stuff you wish you had done when you were his age. No, I did do it. You did do yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I graduated high school. I worked two jobs for six months. I saved up three thousand dollars. Okay. And I went to Europe for six months by myself with a backpack, and I just uh, went backpacking from to through Europe. Everybody says is a big deal. No, at that point, I didn't even know what a backpack was, so I was never going to do that. But. Oh. I just, I'm very sad. Yeah. I, di I didn't even think it was possible. I hey, thought it, you had to be I rich. got a spot at 9.30, so just give me, I got like three minutes. Just give me a heads up so yeah. I don't lose track of I like this. Yeah. 9.30. Oh, okay. 9.30. That's oh, okay, when the uh, nice, sweet, um, squeaky clean uh, comics go on. Really? I, I go on at midnight. Well, you know, that was Mitzi's thing with me. She always gave me the 9.30. Yeah, she yeah, said, yeah. give him the 9.30. Yeah, because you have a clean cut. You have a good vibe. 9.30 is perfect. Um. Back to the just the memorials real quick because uh, I'll fuck that virgin. We went to Marilyn Martinez's oh, yeah. memorial. He crushed at that one. Crushed too. at that one, and then the uh, Joey Coco Diaz with that guy. Oh yeah, oh, my God. that was the best. Joey's dead. No. What? No. Marilyn Martinez. Uh, Passed her away. memorial. Yeah. I don't even know if you know, do you know Marilyn yeah. Martinez. Yeah. She oh, used to, she was, we went on the road together. We used to do Cheech and Friends. She and was, this was so like, funny. Uh, 2004, 2005. With Cheech Marin? Cheech was, do, would do a couple songs and then bring all of us up. But it was oh, me and Marilyn. And yeah, we went and toured around Who with Cheech. Who was the other person? Oh my God. Would it uh, vary? Joey Medina. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Marilyn Martinez, sometimes, uh, Darren Carter party starter. Sure. Yeah. We always need a flashlight. And, uh, it's great. Yeah. Vegas now. And that is he? Me, me. So, yeah. Oh, forever? For like he moved there? Didn't he move there? I, don't I think know. Felipe Esparza maybe did a couple of those. Okay, that makes uh, sense. we had a we had a great time. It was a, it was a it was a good That's uh, fun. Tour bus? No, no, we flew, oh showed gosh. up, isolated Indian casinos where they'd have us and, you know, it was just like, you know, Amazon. I caught, like, everyone says, if you're on, are you on tour? And I'm like, more like Amazon, some booker hit, yeah. buy it now. I showed up. Yeah. yeah. And that's my tour. Yeah, like, right. that's He's on the bus with the yeah. chickens. It's yeah. that kind of thing. I could see Marilyn on a bus in her moo. She's so funny. Oh, my God. She was she great. Was really she was a little... sex talk worker. Oh, yeah. No way. Big as a house. And a sex talk worker. She had a really sexy voice. <laughs> she did have a did sexy have voice. Accent? 
No. 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 But uh, at her memorial, How you doing, baby? there was a guy. Yeah. I spilled. I, I uh, oh, my pussy's all wet. Pussy's and then she'd be like, she go, <laughs> Yeah. No way. Oh, it was gross. It was gross. Oh, that's I'd be amazing. putting drinks down, like, <laughs> <laughs> So good. But it was hilarious. And then yeah. she's like, It was my pussy was wet because I spilled Pepsi on my cat. You know, like, yeah. just so Pussy's dumb. Pussy, I was wet. I spilled Pepsi on my cat. <laughs> but there was a guy, uh, this producer-ish guy who didn't pay. This guy, Jeff. Yeah. yeah and I he I'm was, not going to say his name. I don't oh, care. I'm I, the worst. I remember I, I'm, it. I'm, I'm just like, okay. anyway. Darwin? I don't say his name. No, no, no. Jeff no. He, I mean, he's a producer. He's a producer. Joey Coco Diaz sees him in the crowd. He goes, and he never paid Marilyn. He, uh-huh. he always fucked over comics. So yeah. Yeah. that that's not what it was. Not a well-liked man. So what Joey do? Get out of here, you fucking he cocksucker. Fucking hit him. You fucking cocksucker. You get out of this room where he's going to throw you out in the fucking street, you piece of shit. You got a lot of nerve from the fucking podium yeah. in the memorial no. to his face. And really? honestly, that's how I like it. Like, yeah. right, if you have a beef with somebody or like, do it, get, get it, it out. Right. Get it out. Right. But he was doing it for Marilyn. He yeah. was speaking for Marilyn. Like, yeah. he was afraid to say anything to this guy who held the carrot over And his I was just fucking. Joey Diaz is my fucking hero. <laughs> Everybody like clapped. And Even the guy, I was clapping. The guy and got I'm like, up and scurried away. And yeah. like I, I fucking just loved it. And ever, ever since then, I was like, fuck yes. Like, I just the, to do it then because he did do it for her. Yeah. And this guy was a piece of shit mm-hmm. and just calling him out. Did the guy then, leave? Yeah, yeah. He scurried out. It was like, you know, he just had to, he had to run out. Yeah. Okay. Right, you know who else kills? Like I crushed. See Bye, That's Al. It. Good to see you. Who else uh, crushes? At memorials is Neilan. Neilan's the king. Oh, wow. He did Shanlings. I saw Shanlings. Didn't he say thanks for coming to uh, uh, whose wife? Oh, fuck. Thanks for coming? S- somebody's, like somebody's, um, I know what he's saying. I'm going to fuck Bob it up. Saget. Bob Saget. Uh, at Bob Saget's memorial, somebody came that wasn't friendly or something, and he pointed it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Neilan so, did. Neilan. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Or something like that. But yeah. I, yeah, he did Shanlings. He did Shanlings Norms. Was he good. was amazing. And no, he closed out Norms. And then he did Bernie Brillstein's. He closed out oh Bernie Brillstein's recently. Can you recently. imagine that? Yeah. I mean, those recently? are industry. Yeah. Well, Wait a minute. Brillstein died about a year ago. That was, I thought he died a long time ago. Am I crazy? Oh, yeah. No, no, it was Bernie. Look that oh, up. Oh, not Bernie Brelstein. No, um, Seinfeld's manager. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Shapiro. Yeah, George Shapiro. Shapiro. George Shapiro. Yeah, he did George Shapiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. Bernie was a long time ago. Yeah, that, he was like Mitzi's best friend. So I'm like, I remember that one. Yeah, but I, Kevin probably was there. But he has the. He, book his book is incredible with Belushi and all the characters. Oh, I read he, that. Oh, it was the excellent, best. excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's talking about how he started out in the mailroom of yeah. William Morris in New York, and you know, back what when it was like great book. Yeah, oh yeah, I forget. Or what, what a called. great climb. You, you, when you which book? What? Uh, Bernie's book. Um, oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and, what a great climb and what he created. Yeah, yeah. And he started out booking people like actors on Broadway, yeah. like theater actors. And then it was like vaudeville. There's a, a story in there that I always think of. He he told everybody, you got to see this comic. You got to see this comic. And he, and he got all these people to go see this comic. And the comic had this big watch. And the watch was flashy. And he, the guy's doing his joke. And he's crushing. And all people could focus on was the watch. Yeah. And they were just like, what is that watch? Like, so they're not listening. And then he's like, you don't think he's funny? And they're like, what was that fucking watch about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, he, and Bernie's like putting his like name on the line, if you will. And they uh-huh. just all shit on this watch. And that person never worked. That's so I was hilarious. like, don't wear flashy stuff wow. if you showcase. Like in my head, I, I was like. I guess this 15 minutes was up, huh? Uh, completely. I forget the person's name, but I think. But you know, those old there. Borscht Belt comics always wore a big, you know, they, they always had yeah. pinky rings. You know why? <laughs> no. Fights. No, because. Getting money. They would go on the road, and mm-hmm. it was all trains. They'd take the fucking train to the Playboy Club in Cleveland from right. New York. They were all New York comics. Yeah. And they would work the Catskills, and then which was all the all the Jews from New York would go up to the Catskills. So hot, yeah. And then they would go uh, play, like, the Cleveland Playboy Club, and 
they'd buy a train ticket with cash and they'd get there. And then if they got stiffed, there was no credit cards. Right. So you would hock the pinky ring. Oh, my God. And get enough money to get back to New York again. I didn't even think of that. I'm thinking yeah. use the pinky ring as like a brass knuckle. Well, that's like how a, you would do it. Well, I'm an animal. Yeah. 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 I'd beat them until the money fell out of their pockets. <laughs> It's in here somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> Why is she so violent? <laughs> Why are She's you so violent? She's a Bonvillian. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's my Irish blood. Do, Do you, you have... think you could kick my ass? 100%. Because Do you really? I'll tell you this. One, I can see you. Yeah. Two, I know me. And yeah, yeah. I'm a sick person. Right. Now, my little sister and I, she's bigger than me. Uh -huh. And we always fight but she she was like me we were scrappy we grew up at the bottom of 10 kids so we whatever we have to fight with my brothers we'd have to fight with whoever and just i don't know angry she was there was a little girl that was afraid of her so she's like i'll pay you to teach me how to fight and so there was a girl paying her we were kids really right yes and so we always tease her about it but she's like i did not i just didn't want her to bother me so i took the money that's awesome <laughs> so but we always just had this thing so now when i go home if i argue with her i'm like move the coffee table i'll fight you right now and and she'll like she just hit me and i'll just go down you know uh -huh. what i mean but i still my heart is like i'm god fucking fight i'll still yeah. fight yeah i don't know why how would you not sell a sitcom even if i got your life up. is such a sitcom because it's I see, so well is. i see it as it's set today okay but there's flashbacks <laughs> to 1979 philly okay so my last manager um i always get the good managers they're like yeah don't write a script with flashbacks i'm like oh okay and then i'll try to write it now yeah this doesn't work now um, mm -hmm. so the flashbacks, no flashbacks are out. Like how I met your mother. Yeah. What the fuck? All right. So I always have that person that's like, oh no, this isn't going to work. And then I, for some reason I listen to Yeah, you can't to listen to agents managers. They never, never know. They've talked never. me out of more. I thought of the Why idea for Dexter that? about five years before Dexter came You're out. You're kidding. And they, they, my agent was like, it's too dark. It's too dark. Well, it was just the idea about a vigilante killer living in a city who was very presentable mm -hmm. and nobody knew his identity. But then at night he went out and he killed the people that, that yeah. the audience was rooting for him to kill. Yes. You can't pitch that. It's too dark. <laughs> and you never, and it's the same, literally the same yeah. idea, premise. Right. right. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. And you're right. I always, I've written different things like about my dad's typewriter store. And this was like 12 years ago, like, because my dad still had it. Yeah. It was still open. It was like the last typewriter store. And nobody store. was coming in there. Nobody was coming in there when I was a kid in, in uh, high school, like working. I worked there from fourth grade mm -hmm. all the way to 12th grade. But So when I was there, we would sleep on rolls of uh, paper towels until uh -huh. he came in and then we'd jump up. Yeah. Nobody was in there. Yeah. Like, or we would have dark competitions, like crazy the amount of crazy things that went on in that typewriter store yeah. is a whole nother thing. So I wrote all that. They were like, this is great. And then I sent it to my one friend and she goes, who do you, th who do you think should play you, Pumpkin? And I'm oh, like, oh, shit. Wow. Well, that hurt. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who do you what think? What good looking woman do you think should play what you? What kind of person should? <laughs> I was so upset. And then I, we tried to pitch it a little bit and it just didn't, you know, didn't hit whatever. Yeah. So I was like, the whole time I'm like, who who do you think could play me? You know, I get so yeah. sure you're right. I shouldn't play uh, myself. Right, like such right. a fucking well, piece you know, of shit. That was um, a story of a lot a lot of comics. Fought, you know, the famous story coming out of Philly is Stallone. that Stallone was told he couldn't play himself. Absolutely, and, he, and I read it in my head over and over again. Like fuck them, I'm playing myself. Yeah. So it never got made. Watch it comes out and Sylvester Stallone is playing you in drag. <laughs> he doesn't even have to do it in drag. It's just him. <laughs> He's just like, how many typewriters? What's your font? You know? <laughs>
<laughs> you need a ribbon. All right. <laughs> I I mean, it was so funny because, or to me, it was funny because the cast of characters that would hang out in my dad's typewriter store, like I called it, was like a treehouse for him and his old war buddies. Yeah. I mean, there was one guy in there. He was, Mr. Richardson was like 98 years old. And I come in, he go, hey. And I, I swear he had like a musket wound. Like he was so old. Uh-huh. It was crazy. Yeah. And they would all talk about the different, one he guy said he had was a, in the war and everybody's wondering which one. Yeah, we're all like, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to count back, yeah, you know, like yeah. <laughs> these, most of the guys were in Korea. They uh-huh. were my dad, my dad was in Korea. So his buddies were in Korea. And then there was one GQ Ernie who wasn't in war. He was like, I didn't get called in, you know, and he just had his hair slicked back. Uh-huh. He always had the nice car and he just talked shit. And he was just what great characters. And then there was Curly. Curly had um, a stroke and couldn't, he had a, he was having sex with two women and his wife caught him and he just I think he faked the stroke <laughs> well he lost his speech <laughs> no and the shit. only words he could say was fuck and motherfuck <laughs> and every other word he would spell in the air with no education like this so he'd come in the typewriter store with this curly red hair and he, he'd go fuck motherfuck you know and he's yelling at my dad and he's spelling things and we're both looking at him like what is he spelling I'm trying to follow his finger his car was on fire outside and I'm like oh my god this is crazy <laughs> he got mad at a car dealership because they couldn't understand him yeah. so he drove his car through the front window why <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> they were great characters, and nobody liked it. Did the wife stay with him after she caught him yes. having a three-way? Yes. Really? Yes. And she said, "That's it. We're moving to Jersey because you, you're not, you're not. I don't want to live in the city anymore, and you're being bad, bad." <laughs> well, he's you a should just leave him at this point. Is the three ways are over? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he's out. I used to see him in the supermarket, like, without my dad, which yeah. is, like, weird because it's like, whoa, world's colliding. Right, right. Because my parents split up and they, yeah. you know, so it was like, whoa, what are you doing in here? And then I'd be with my mom or something and he'd be spelling. And my mom's like, who the hell is that? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's a good thing you guys split up. I'm just going to say that. I'm just yeah, going to say yeah. that. He got curly in the divorce. <laughs> that was a win for she you. She goes, I never met him. I'm like, yeah, wow. he's part of the typewriter store. But there's I'm, so many crazy characters yeah. that I loved. Well, my parents never divorced, and I always feel like I've missed out on something. You think they should have, though? Did no. they get along? No, they get along oh, great. Oh, that's great, yeah. then. Well, he died young. Who knows if they would have gotten divorced later. Ha, but, no. You know, but I think that they drank a lot, and I think that's what kept them. It was good for them. My grandparents did that. Yeah. They were fun. Yeah. Fun. Just they would go out fun, three, four school. nights a week. They'd come home at like two or three in the morning. I love that. It was Keeping crazy. it real, yeah. if you will. Yeah. They lived life to the fullest, I think. Yeah. Every time you see a picture of my grandma, she's got like a big mug of beer. And she would keep like freezers in the mug, uh, uh, mugs in the freezer. My brain is dead. Mugs in her freezer. And she had like a triple bypass. I come over and she's got a whole pizza and a big frosty mug filled no with shit. beer. And I go, what are you doing? And she goes, who the hell could have pizza without beer? <laughs> But How about just, neither? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about, hello, right. you just had this fixed up here. She's yeah, my so mom funny. My mom now has, uh, she's uh, fucking heart, like all, she gets her heart surgery done in Florida and they put the pacemaker on the wrong side. They had to open her back up again. Like, it's fucking crazy. And so I go down to check on her last week. <laughs> And, you know, when old people are surrounded by each other, it's just like all I mean, they talk about is who their, died, who died, my liver hurts, yeah. his kidney. I call it the organ recital because they just <laughs> and and so. So I have one kidney left. Yeah. And, uh, oh, so you look at you big deal with the one kidney left. Half a liver. It's and growing so, back. And so we go to the movie theater and we see this movie called Ordinary Angels, which you've never heard of. No. And I'm convinced it was only made to come out in Florida. It's like a hope it's like a Hallmarky movie. But it's all old people like cocoon? Like No, but it would only appeal to an old person. It's okay. like it's like a Hallmark movie, like real tearjerker. And uh, but there's a woman sitting next to me, this old Jewish lady, and she's got the wheeze of someone who's been smoking <laughs> since she was 11. And she's just sitting there and she's My spilling over lady. the seat and she's complaining about everything. And uh, she's completely inflamed. 
Well, she's alone, but she keeps talking as if she's talking to a husband. He must have just died. Oh, and no. out of habit, oh, she my keeps God. talking out loud. And so we get to the end of the movie. And the movie's so unbelievable that it's about a seven-year-old girl. And they live in, like, Milwaukee. Okay. She needs a kidney, of course. Okay. So you're going to make me cry. Yeah. The friend of the family is uh, a drunk, but she steps up in this girl's moment of need mm -hmm. to do fundraisers for her. And they find a kidney donor in Omaha, but it's Christmas night and there's a snowstorm. And how is she going to get to Omaha? And they've got to let them, they, they have to get there tonight. <sighs> So the drunken lady calls up the local news and convinces them to do a shout out. Does anybody have a helicopter? <laughs> so this ordinary angel has a helicopter <laughs> and he takes her to the airstrip, but the airstrip is covered in snow. So about 200 people from the town all show up with shovels. Oh, wow. And they all It's like the Bills game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. And they shovel an entire <laughs> runway at three in the morning on Christmas. <laughs> and the plane takes off and it gets to Omaha and she goes into surgery. And now we cut to the next morning and she's, she's in the bed and the family's around her and there's balloons and the sunlight streaming in and she finally opens her eyes for the first time. There's not a dry, you're crying, everybody's crying. And the lady next to me goes, it's a snowstorm. Where are they going to get balloons? <laughs> <laughs> That's my little sister, Edie. <laughs> That's what she would say. Just no tears, yeah. no emotion. Yeah. Just like, that's a dumb yeah, thing yeah. they did there. You right. know, like, Meanwhile, the, sho the 200 shoveling yeah, people, yeah, not yeah, a big no, that's deal. fine. <laughs> Plane taken off into the biggest blizzard in the Midwest history, that's yeah. fine. Don't but worry. balloons? Yeah. Like a, there couldn't be a gift, a gift store downstairs? Yeah, no gift shop in this <laughs> hospital. They don't have that in Omaha. All right, I got it. I hear you. No helium down there? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. But just to pick that, yeah, we call my little sister Stone Cold because she does that too. But yeah. my, my sister, the reason I get emotional with the kidney, my sister had to have a kidney uh, transplant. No. And we were, not my little sister, my older sister Kathleen, and she, um, for years, she was on dialysis and she, um, her kidneys, she had uh, polycystic kidney disease. Uh -huh. So they, the cyst in there just keep growing. This is so comedic. Yeah, this by is the way. really fun. Anyway, it's going to get real worse. And uh, <laughs> so they, her kidneys were like thirty pounds each, right? So we all get tested. The problem is polycystic Damn. is an adult kidney disease. Yeah. So you have to be over thirty five to get tested. Yeah. So on my thirty fifth birthday, me and my other sisters, my other older sister Karen went, and we got like vials of blood taken to see if we were a match. All the stuff because I'm like, yeah, take everything because my sister was so fun and so silly and um we didn't get this same outcome as this movie uh but they didn't take they wouldn't take it they wouldn't take mine she or she had a what's it called cadaver yeah right. okay did i say it right because i always cadaver a dead body yeah 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 they, she had a cadaver one time we were saying <laughs> but <laughs> She had a catheter? Yeah, she had a catheter and a cadaver, and they put the uh, <laughs> thing in the uh, That's how you say it in South Philly. And they, uh, but so just one of my brother Jimmy's, like, gangstery, messed up, crazy friends came in. He goes, you need a kidney? I'll give you mine. Uh, really? And my, and my sister's like, I don't, I'm good. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, she's on dialysis. She's like, yeah, yeah. on her last leg. Uh, she's like, I'm good. And I go, why <laughs> did you say no to that? Just out of curiosity, because at the time, he was, like, of age, and she goes... Because he'll get fucking crazy and he'll come in and want it back. Yeah, exactly. You know, that'll be yeah. my luck. He'll want the I'm asleep and he's opening the yeah, fucking... Yeah, It's on this side. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I didn't mean forever. <laughs> I can't get it back. I thought you were going to give it back. <laughs> he just, she made me laugh so hard yeah. all the time. Oh, so silly. Oh, my God. But yeah. So, so that was your little sister? My older sister, your Kathleen. Older and unfortunately, she passed away from it. It didn't, she nothing did. worked. Yeah, nothing oh, worked. Oh, here I am yeah. bringing up this I'm movie. I'm sorry. I so, yeah, we didn't have the runway. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have local it's news in Philly? Yeah. That's Philly for you. They wouldn't fucking come out with their shovels. No, no. They, they would, but they use them to hit you. Exactly. What, you fucking, <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> You need a kidney? I'll fucking yeah. kill this guy. They Take it from him. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's just different. But, yeah, she... Whatever. But, yeah, uh, I would freak out if that movie was on. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
It was very sweet. It was what's her oh, name was in it. Um, so is it a big actress? The actress. A big movie? Big Did it? Yeah, or is it, it just big, like a streaming thing? No, it was in a movie theater. It was one of those things where like I'm down there with my mom and. I book I, I book my flight for five days, but you think, all right, that's a good amount of time. After two days in Florida, you are literally oh, killing. It's you are killing Vegas. time. You are finding time <laughs> and you are trying to kill it. You're trying to make it go away. <laughs> and so we like literally we're driving past the mall and I saw there's a movie theater. And I just took a ride. Yeah. I was like, let's Look at this. walk Something in to do. <laughs> whatever's playing. And that was playing next. Ordinary Angels. And we just uh, walked right in. And sat down. So next it was to in that a movie lady. theater. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. It was air conditioned, which was nice because <laughs> it was fucking a thousand degrees out. Is it? Is she in the? Because I want to when I get older, move to the villages. How much old do you have to? Okay, wait? probably I got a week left. All I right. got to probably next week. <laughs> next week. But I'm I'm on a wait list. You're gonna get so. some dick in the villages. They are dicking hard down there. Dude, these they're days. in golf carts doing yep. coke. I'm yep. in. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. In. No. Have you seen that documentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When he, when he get arrested and he go, you had narcotics on you. He goes, it was five dollars <laughs> worth of coke. <laughs> Eighty three years old. Yeah, right. And I'm like, get it. Oh my god. His wife was like, it's our anniversary, and he's like, I'm gonna go jack off. <laughs> 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 I was obsessed with that. I'm like, I want to. That's the other TV there. show. You moving into the villages. Or there's another one I want to do. Remember, um, the orderlies. I, I now I don't remember where I got this from, but it, it's like I want a comedy, like all older comics yeah. in a retirement. Yeah. The orderlies. And like, you know, you're just in there and they're still, their egos aren't dead. Uh -huh. And they're still fighting for stage time, even in this fucking old folks. Right, right. Hall, you know, yeah. just cutting each other's oxygen and shit. That's hilarious. I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and just, I want it to be like the orderlies. I want it like me and Leslie Jones to be like the orderlies <laughs> that are in there trying to keep these fucking idiots in line. I don't know why. It's just, I have this whole thing and I keep pitching it, but that's good. I'm not good. The next step, yeah, you know. Well, nobody well, the, is right the now. The pitch is shit. They're not anyway. buying it. Nobody's buying anything right now. It's fucking dead. Hollywood is is over. Dead. Are you Hollywood's glad you're over. a comic though? Because you can still kind of go on the road and make money. Yeah, podcasting and stand up has podcasting. always saved me because we know, make a lot of money on this one. It's, called, it's rolling. It. Yeah. Well, I could get a. Uh, I could go see ordinary. People or whatever. Ordinary People Ordinary is my angels. favorite movie. <laughs> no, this is um, this is truly the end of Hollywood. It's it started with Sox the pandemic, on. and then the Writers Guild strike, and now there's another possible strike happening this summer, which no. is all the camera people and you know the makeup artists. They're all part of a group called the Yahtzee. And that's if, a little and, too close, no? Yeah, and if they go at, and it's, they're just shoot, everything's getting shot. Overseas, South Africa, Canada, they're not shooting I've anything here that. anymore. The I've unions are going that. broke. Everybody's got these pensions that they think are going to pay them out, but there's no new money coming in. And like they used to hire 15 writers on a show. Now they hire six. They used to buy 20 pilots. They used to shoot 20 pilots yeah. each network, each season. Like pilot CBS season. CBS shot one pilot this year. Pilot season is no longer a season. It doesn't exist. Wow. No. Wow. Anyway, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, guys, this is good. So we got death of people. Unemployment. And <laughs> a dead town. <laughs> dead town. And just on Where's Rick? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Holy shit. Rick, you want to get back God. in your seat, Rick? I don't care. I'll Let me take over one of these. Seats. Okay. You would have loved what we were talking about. I got to be honest. He took the one next to me. Did you notice that? Yes, he did. Mm. Anybody, Breath. people run to get away from mm. me. And especially since I'm out of Eleanor's, my strange trip. Eleanor, she's strips. sexually aggressive, you know? <laughs> yeah. And you just got to be careful. It's been a while. I did, uh, you know, pleasure myself today by myself. She always comes prepared. Yeah, that's, I have to. I knew I was alone, doing this podcast. Like. And uh, I knew you were going to be on it, so I was like, I got to get this out. Just get, get it out. <laughs> get yeah. it in and get Did it you out. you save it? No. No. Oh. <laughs> save the... Discharge. No. Oh. I let that... Welcome back to Saving Discharge. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh... a... <laughs> It's a very niche it's podcast, but our, we our were audience is growing. <laughs> Rick, we were talking about kidneys and the death of a town nice. uh, called I love that. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Have I you heard it. of this town, Hollywood, where uh, people used to make uh, things? Oh, uh, you know, 
ever since RKO fell, things have really yeah, been right. downhill. <laughs> Why that did we have dog. to start talking? I agree. It's like movies and women. We had a good thing Wait. going. Well, hold on. First of all, I Wait, saw Wait, women talking or just talking in the <laughs> Why didn't we let them in the workplace, I think, is really the <laughs> right. conversation. That's when yeah. things started getting tricky. <laughs> uh, I just saw today that, uh, and I know this is coming out fresh, so... I love this. It's an evergreen Hot comment. Hot off the presses. Apparently, uh, the people over at Nickelodeon are creepy. Yeah. No. And, uh, That's been around. And they're blaming Dennis Blunden from Head of the Class for the whole thing, I guess. That's what oh, I... Yeah. So, wait, That's what I remember. Him wait, about. I thought it was the showrunner was creepy. Yeah, it is. And he, so apparently, he was apparently one of the actors from Head of the Class. He was the fat the guy heavy on the guy. computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and what then, was he doing? And then he just like... It basically was a bunch of... Now it's really inappropriate innuendo stuff, but it'd be like chicks using shake weights when they were like... 14. It was Ariana uh -huh. Grande had a potato, and she's like, I know you can get juice out of this. And they're like, you can get like juice. Where's the juice? Down. No. Yeah, oh, like yeah. The show? Yeah. oh, yeah. On the show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They used it on the yeah. show? She's and sucking her toes at one point. No. Yeah. Do Where you know which gone? episode that is? <laughs> Specifically, I, I couldn't say, but it was season three, episode six. <laughs> at 9.29. There was a guest appearance by six from Blossom on that episode, and things got a little heavy. <laughs> um, oh my Six god awesome. yeah it, it, it was basically just a bunch of innuendo stuff and then the dude came out and was like first of all all of their parents were there and no yeah. one had a problem with any of it right um, right like, yeah the parents were just looking at the bank account they, going yeah yeah suck it suck it hard just, get it all the way down just re-release that documentary and the michael jackson uh, oh yeah let's run them side by side and just yeah. re-release them as a bad parents docuseries <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Well, what was the um, the Ali G one? Where which of his movies did he do? Sasha Baron, where they had kids auditioning to be Jesus on a cross. I have to bow my head when you say it. Sorry, it's about your. Oh, she still loves Jesus. the Lord. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So did you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Now I get it. Sorry. Um, and they had these parents bringing their and well, we're gonna have to hang your child on the cross <laughs> for it. No, they, that no that 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 works. Yeah, and he'll be naked. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And they just kept he kept pushing it, and he couldn't yeah. find anything that they wouldn't I'm let gonna their kids do. I'm going to hold his genitals, yeah. as they're hanging. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to stroke. Okay. It's a different kind of parent. Yeah, they're really... sick. Yeah. Although my mother would have been like, "Yeah, just go do the show, honey. Get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> just get out." I mean, we need the money. Just the idea of those <laughs> Disney shows. Like, I can remember watching Hannah Montana with, uh, how old are your kids now? Uh, seven and three. So they're starting to watch the Disney Channel? Yeah, somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. And like, Hannah Montana was like totally oh. sexualized. There was In that show. I was watching it with my daughter, like, slide over. <laughs> Move out of the way. Right, come on. Go hey, upstairs. This is a daddy Go show. upstairs. <laughs> TV time, everybody. <laughs> why, do, why don't the kids play in your room anymore? There was one. I forgot the name of it, but my I was watching my niece, Madison, and, and my brother, Johnny, goes, don't let her watch this show. Something high. Something high school. Something. And uh, she goes, no, no. My dad said this one's okay. And I didn't know the difference. I don't have kids. So I'm like, yeah, we're watching it. And um, the girl gets her stuff out of her locker and tampons fall on the floor. And she goes, what are those sticks? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not telling you what that is. And then they start having the conversation. Uh, like the boys are I picking like, on her I for like it. dad set the daughter up. was like, you know what? Watch that episode with. Yeah, yeah. watch it, watch it with Aunt L. So she can, L. So right, she can right. tell you what nunchucks are made of, tampons. Like, I just, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, you have to ask your mom. She's not up. Tell me what that is. And I'm like... I, Did I don't. You at least make something up. No, I, I panicked. Yeah. I, I don't have children for a you reason. You could have set that kid back and would have been hilarious for years. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. You, know, you, you, you suck on them like lollipops. No, no. Well, you know how you have to wipe your butt with these. You just <sighs> jam it in. Jam it right in it there. Feels good. And it's reusable. And I'll tell you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll tell you, if you grab a that's nipple, where, that's where even... it got uncomfortable for me. <laughs> was I pictured the process of trying to clean? She was like eight. I'm not gonna tell her stuff. Mm. I didn't know. I, Eleanor, I, this would have been great terrible. content. You're not. You could have pranked that kid, and you would have had ten thousand views. I, I literally panicked. I was lot? sweating. I was, and I go, I, I woke my brother Johnny. Up. I go, what the fuck, man? Yeah. And he goes, she's not allowed to watch that. And I go, whoa. Fucking take it off the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Have you Who's heard, you know, Dan Natterman, the comic Dan Natterman? Mm. He's a New York comic. He's very oh, funny, yeah. very dark. And he has this joke about how a uh, gym teacher goes into uh, health class and he s- says to the kids, he goes, okay, it's sex ed today, kids. And so uh, <laughs> if you're wondering why, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to put on a condom. And if you're wondering why I'm holding a banana in my hand, it's I can't get an erection on an empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> That's tremendous. Oh. <laughs> That's the right kind of dark. That's, really good. That's, That's the really good. best kind of dark. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Natterman. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good. Like, do your kids ask you weird questions? No, my kids don't care yet. And plus, they were created in a lab, so. Yeah, but yeah. still. I, I can't even be like, well, uh, it was a hot evening of... <laughs> Coitus on Miami Beach. It's like I don't know. Like, so we had this dish. Yeah, I and then we just started. Went to a doctor's office. We whipped it up. They had uh, porn magazines that were at least seven years old. <laughs> uh, yeah, I checked the dates of the porn magazines at the fertility clinic. You're a reader. What, what You're a reader. Yeah, you want a fresh baby. You don't want an old baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need good. I need some good stuff in here. You got anything from August to <laughs> 2020? I'm more These of women August. aren't even tan. These February girls. <laughs> I like an 88. You have anything from 88? <laughs> oh, very specific. <laughs> I like a feathered hair. <laughs> yeah, feather hair and a bush. Yeah, yeah. Just a, a big pick in it. Come on. Yeah. I, I remember going middle school, going to the bus in the house where the bus stop was in front of, just had stacks of it was Sports Illustrated on top, but one of the kids started going through it while we were waiting for the bus. And okay. then there was a shitload of Playboys from like <laughs> 75. <laughs> How to old like, were you? We, I was in middle school, so I would have been 13 or something. Nice. But Perfect. It literally was just unloading boxes and dudes just filling their backpacks up. <laughs> I just remember looking at it and being like, man, what the fuck is going on? And it was all huge bush. That's amazing. Yeah, and just be like, I don't think this is right. Uh, <laughs> the first porn movie I ever saw, I was at uh, my friend David Aranger, and he was this Colombian kid. He lived above a bodega downtown. Love it. And uh, his brother, Horatio, was showing Good us- porn name. Horatio. <laughs> Love he was it. showing us porn movies on a reel-to-reel, and I was probably like, <sighs> I was like, 11 or 12 and his brother goes uh he goes, hey. and he grabs my dick he goes hey no, you, no, got no. A little, <laughs> you got a little on there <laughs> and he's grabbing my dick Horatio. and i was just like i was like what the fuck and that guy's in jail for life right now nice for, for uh, grabbing your dick no cocaine oh. trafficking there you that's different yeah you don't get arrested uh, for honestly, grabbing a little no, boy's dick not an irish that's kid. crazy <laughs> Yeah, we don't press charges. And, and if you're trafficking cocaine and not grabbing dicks randomly, are you really trafficking cocaine? Right, are you right. a real person? Yeah. Have you seen Miami Vice? Do your job Grab right. <laughs> How old are you, kid? Perfect age for a little uh. dick grabbing. How about a thunder bump and a dick grab? Is this Joey Diaz? <laughs> it must have been. Sure, it turned feels into like it. it. Yeah, that was my Horatio, my general Horatio impression. <laughs> Any Horatio you know sounds like <laughs> they that. They all sound like that. And by the way, they say you should change names when you talk about things like that. No, his so you said Horatio. The, well, yeah. if he's in, doing life in prison, yeah. I, they probably listen to this podcast yeah. in there. Yeah, he'll get some clout. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll maybe get to fuck someone a little tougher because of this. <laughs> you know what? We'll send our money, our sponsor money. We'll put it on your book, buddy. That's right. From Voodoo Donuts, possibly. <laughs> Voodoo Donuts. What made you say Is that, that your sponsorship? Yes. No, we don't have a sponsor. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> We we got booted from four hymns, just so everyone is clear. Something We're the about first the people. way we read the copy. some boner pill that basically was giving every podcast <laughs> sponsorship. Eventually, we're just like we're not interested. <laughs> 
They wanted us to do like a standard read, but uh, you know, we thought we should spice it up. We thought we should yeah. spice it up. So right. there, was, there was just a lot of yelling about how rock hard it makes my cock. Rock fucking hard. In the voice of a comedian that only people who came here and w- watched the open mic from 2000 to 2004 would understand. <laughs> Anyway, they he was legendary. Yeah. So that Come one's on. gone, huh? So, yeah. yeah, we lost for him. Rock hard. Well, what uh, about this crack team? You guys can't get them another sponsorship? We'll figure it out. We're working on They're it. working on it. <laughs> In unison, we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the. Yeah, saving the discharge is not going to go real well. <laughs> well that That's podcast will Please. actually probably. Clip that. Yeah. Clip that. Saving the discharge. We could get Let's tied pods on that one, at least. <laughs> Oh, we, do a fi- we do a five the minute wash stick. at the end. Well, we you were able to save. We were able to save the shirt from the discharge. <laughs> Thanks to Tide Pod. <laughs> work on that one, guys. We can I do like this. That. Maybe I we think could, that would work. We could do a squirter session. <laughs> oh, could, now anyway. I'm up. All right. We gotta, we gotta make I'm a hell give of a the squirter. internet what it wants. Yeah. So, we dude, if a girl ever squirted content. on me, I would break up with her instantly. <laughs> it would be because you don't like to be peed on. <laughs> I mean, it's pee, right? <laughs> I mean, does anybody really believe it's anything other than pee? I assumed it was pee. I, yeah. I assume it's pee. Yeah. Yeah. Clear pee. Like they drank a lot of water that yeah, day. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not a yellowy pee. No. Yeah. They don't take vitamins. They're no. just shooting at you. Right. These aren't vitamin girls. Right. Super soaker chicks. Yeah. And and do you think that if that same girl took a shit in the bed, they'd be like, "Oh my God, she got so worked up, she had a brownie." It's ama- <laughs> speaking of speaking of legendary open mic comics from the, <laughs> he's not wrong. Yeah, yeah, that waitress with the horse hair took a shit in my bed. <laughs> that <laughs> happened. That, that was the guy Jim Painter that we were talking about. <laughs> and uh, one of my waitresses was waiting tables, <laughs> and she happened to shit in his bed. She was on laxatives. No, and yeah. uh, and then she broke up with him. And he decided to say it on stage as she's serving drinks. You see that waitress? No. Keep in mind, there's like like eight people in the crowd, so there's only one waitress. (laughs) You know, the one with the horse hair? It's like she's standing right there. Well, just so you know, she's shit in my bed. (laughs) These are facts, Gregory. No fucking facts. And Eleanor, Eleanor was the The head waitress. (laughs) So... She she storms into the back demanding. Well, uh, I, because I got a crying waitress going in on him, like, shit in his bed. I'm like, did you shit in his bed? Did you really shit in his bed? Eleanor's asking the right questions. <laughs> you don't get caught in the crossfire without get, getting some yeah, information. You don't get head waitress for not yeah, asking right, the yeah. right yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and yeah. then the management at the time was this guy Dean, bro, and so it was presented to Dean with what to do, and he was like. Come on, bro. Just be cool, everyone. Bro. And then nothing happened to anybody. It was great. Well, I yelled. I did yell at Painter. Please yeah. don't say it on stage. Eleanor, to, while it's she's not waiting, my fault. She <laughs> shit in my bed. <laughs> His defense was flawless. No court of law. Was... This was a real business. I like, don't know what side I am on this one. <laughs> I mean, she shit in his bed. Yeah. Yeah. She Johnny Depped him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got Johnny Depped, and he, he's a performer, yeah. and he talked about it. Yeah. But he, he didn't have to he point. He didn't have to point at her. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that might have crossed She the already line. had eight customers. Her night's not great. Yeah. Oh, my God. So now everyone knows she shits in the bed. Yeah. And... And she was by far the hottest waitress. So oh, everyone, 100%. all the comments in the back were just like, well, yeah, yeah right. still, yeah. still. A couple, uh, a few months ago, she stopped in here. And, Legendary. Yeah. And uh, the bartender heart was like, oh, guess who came in here? No shit. <laughs> Loving it. Well, shit, probably. We lo- uh, Yeah, a lot of shit. But <laughs> we loved her, but she, you know, she had an accident. She was taking laxatives. But guys were still hitting on her after that. Of course. Of course. Yeah. She was it really she didn't hot. slow it down. <laughs> no. <laughs> there were some there were some real beast masters working back then, so Yeah, uh, comics are buying new sheets for this. Like they're excited. Yeah, they're like, yeah, all right, yeah. you know Just what? Get I'm plastics. gonna put the you plastics. Get, yeah, get the plastic sheets. I'm bringing her over. Yeah. I gotta see this. Yeah, get a low thread Horse count. hair and shit. Treat in the her like it's your grandma's couch. <laughs> keep it covered, no spills. <laughs> I had, to, I had to keep a straight face. I remember being in the kitchen being like, look, you can't do that. <laughs> and like, she, in and my she heart, initially was like, you got to fire him. But when Dean was like, fire him, there was no follow-up request. It yeah. was just like, well, this is inappropriate. Yeah. I'm like, all right. 
Who well, nobody was going to get fired. Yeah. Hilarious. She did want him fired, though. Oh my! So God. mad. She was going to make thirty eight dollars no matter what. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing? She and, might have, She probably made 50 that night because people felt bad. And John Biner decided not to put this John Biner? into the show? <laughs> Mike, Michael. Mike, Mike Binder? If you think Mike I didn't, I gave, I gave him 30 minutes Listen, on we just gave a shit all. story, and he didn't put any of it in. The we guy also, interviewed me for three hours. Same, he included a clip of me being like, there wasn't a lot of people here then. Like, what? What did that I do was the it? interview? <laughs> Do you remember oh, we, this is great stuff. I got to get some more. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, all right. You gave him a podcast with me, Rick, Jeff Danish, and Ryan O'Neill. Was there somebody else in it, too? That, that, it was in the one in Arizona where it turned into a roast of Eleanor, but also, like, shitting on waitresses and comics yeah. mm. and how we... Because I was not a comic. I was a waitress when these guys were comics and door guys. So I was completely on a different side. And they, we were telling all these stories and everybody was like, we're going to get in so much trouble. Because yeah. we, we were at the festival, the uh, oh, All the, Things Comedy. Yeah. Oh my God, it was insane. Eric and Adam were there, Eric Anderson, and they were like, what are these fucking stories? What? <laughs> what? And they never heard them before. And then they just, it was, I think we did the shit story. I think we did a lot of different ones. A lot of the fucking in the building stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they air it? Fucking on stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back, back then, it was so unprofessional. Nobody cared. They aired anything. Yeah. 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 We had a They're disclaimer like, in the know. beginning because... I told no. one story where I talked about how if I saw someone on the street, I'd run them over with a car. And the comedy store was like, you do not speak on behalf of the comedy store. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> if you knew this chick, you would be like, he speaks for the store. <laughs> No one would but argue. But because she made such a big stink, she called everybody, and she used to fuck one of the managers, yeah. so she... And I'm pretty sure she was sucking the lawyer's dick, so... There. Oh. There you go. He... Jesus. She was keeping her foot in the door. Sounds like she'd be pretty popular. <laughs> she was. And what's yeah. weird is that she probably fucked 20 people that I can think of, but not liked by any of them. Mm -mm. It's a wow. weird... No, they were all yeah. fine with it. I remember opening a door, and she was just blowing this guy hard, hard, like, and I was just like... It's Christmas, and I just shut the door. Like, let me get out of here. Wow. But you would always find her in a corner doing something yeah. to somebody. Not never the guy she was dating, and if but you, always a comic. If you turn down the many passes, then she would make it a habit of every time she saw you going, "You wish." <laughs> You'd be like, All right, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? You wish. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sounds good. Good to see you. <laughs> Bro, you gotta be nice. Sometimes I kind of miss the fucked up years, the dead years. I mean, there, there's an element of it. I mean, I had uh, no ability to really be that good on stage, so it was better to really yeah. take in the weirdness. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, I can either bomb on stage right now or just experience when she John Barris talking someone through fingering someone. <laughs> oh, man, this is a Very weird club. Very <laughs> No, no, you got to do it gently. <laughs> yeah. was always, everything was about contact. making it soothing. Where I'm just like, this is not what I expected at all. <laughs> He's on stage yelling for people to spit in his mouth. And like, no, no, treat her like the princess she is. <laughs> so, you know, it feels weird being in here now, honestly. <laughs> Was yeah, he doing was... warm up for Nickelodeon back then? <laughs> yeah, he was. He was. He came he was up on with Josh the potato. And Drake doing, he was in charge of the trampoline that they had. Uh, he outside. came up with the potato idea. Yeah, yeah. He liked that one. Wow. But you know, it's speaking of crazies, because back then Holtzman was here too all the time. We were talking about Holtzman earlier. We I was in Aspen. Aspen. Austin. My brain is dead. I was in Austin two weeks ago. So we all went to dinner after the shows on a Sunday night and um Elon Musk was at the restaurant we were at. So we, Holtzman was like, hey, hey, that's Elliot Musk. That's Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> it's Elliot Musk. And we're like, Brian, calm down, right? And we're outside. And we were all leaving at the same time, right? So we're getting our cars. It's it's Adam Egan, Peter Shore, Holtzman, Dom Irera, his girlfriend, myself. And so we're Damn, all just like name talking. Drop. It's all name yeah. drops, by the way. So we're all just talking. And Holtzman gets out a sticker and he's going to put it on Elliot's car, Smart. if you will. And branding. And it's all about I, branding. Yeah, yeah. I go, Brian, Brian, Brian. No, no, no. And Adam goes, You're going to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Elon's security comes yeah. flying out, right, like right. about to curb stomp Brian yeah. as he's got his little picture of himself <laughs> and about to put it on. Hey, I just wanted Elliot to see my picture. Give it to Mr. Musk. <laughs> hey, Elliot, look at this. You want one of these? Huh? <laughs> I was crying laughing. There, there but, appears to be a, a 1920s movie star drifter <laughs> moving towards the car. He also, he also goes, hey, I'll give you a ride back. You don't need an Uber. And he gets in his fucking snug top, whatever kind of cars yeah, they Uber. were. You know what I, yeah. I, I don't, What is I, it? It's like a top? snug top. You know, it's a pickup truck that has the, you could take the top off or put it on uh -huh. the back of it. Okay. I, I think it's Did a Toyota. Did he make you go in the back? It was literally like, as soon as he pulled around, Peter sure goes, we'll call an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with his stickers all over it. Wouldn't, wouldn't, <laughs> great guy wouldn't get in a car with him. Yeah, I've done with it. Holtzman? Yeah, I've done no. it quite a few no. times. Quite a few times. I've no, but it. we were at uh, that Cookie Donuts. What are you guys sponsored by? Uh, voodoo. voodoo. Voodoo Donuts. Voodoo, Voodoo, Voodoo. Choo Choo's Donuts. I was there in Austin and uh, I, um, and Holtzman comes in and he buys like six dozen donuts sure, sure. for the staff back at the give club. It out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Giving the money back. Where's he getting the money? There. He's making good money. He's, if, he's got Holtzman and friends. Jobs. Yeah. Is he? He's, he's got, got two pension pensions. From two. Manhattan Beach, where he was the animal control slash parking meter guy for a while. Sure. Oh, no he was shit. at United for 25 years. Yeah, he was a wow. he, he loaded bags on no. airplanes. That's the guy who loaded he's this luggage guy. on the planes. This yeah. guy. He's That's a little bit amazing. Of that. Imagine getting on a plane, yeah. 6 a.m., and this is the guy that Fuck. you saw partying all night. And now he's doing this. He, was, he drove a motorcycle back then. <laughs> <laughs> He did. Yeah, he did. I he, know. Uh, he, All right. Speaking of driving, I got a I got a spot one minute ago at the Laugh Factory. All right. Thanks oh, for having me on, good to you guys. See you. Um, I love you. You can catch Greg at the Laugh Factory if you can get there in 15 minutes. Are we live? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys. Thank you, Greg. Wait. What, what was that story you were just telling us? I want to hear it. Um. Oh, shit. Now I forgot what you were saying. Yeah. I don't even know. Let's rewind it. Is that? Can can you, Oh, oh, Holtzman driving a motorcycle. Oh, I was going to say, I, I was down in Manhattan Beach, and oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah. saw Brian Holtzman dressed fully in his parking meter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he was the guy. He had it all blocked off, and he was um, directing traffic, and then yeah, he started yeah. screaming at me. What was he screaming? When he saw me. August! August <laughs> Hamilton! It's August Hamilton, everybody! <laughs> He got on a megaphone and yelled at Manhattan Beach police property. Uh, he, he's just, uh, no matter what, he's a complete psychopath and the world total, lets him get away with it. And it's beautiful. Total psychopath. Yeah. And I, I love it. We, we, we really are the number one club for cast of characters. Mm -hmm. There, I work so many clubs in New York and here, and they don't have that. No, it's, this there, is the only place it, that this really is the only brings place them that in. Has, and it's sad that Someone's been killing him off over the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, we hit. We but had we still a, managed to get some new ones that show up. There's some new ones, but they, they don't not have as the, good. They don't have the rotting syphilis brain of the drifters yes. of the early 2000s. Yes. That I it really was a special thing. There was mm -hmm. a level of addiction combined with complete delusion that. I like that you say early 2000s. I think it started. I mean, I got here in the early 2000s, yeah. so that's as far back as I can got I can speak on behalf of. But yeah. when I got here in 2002, 70% of the open mic was questionably homeless. Easily. Yeah, and, I had to stop working the open mic because I was like, now I know the homeless guys act. I, I mean, I literally was like looking around like, what am I doing? I move out here. Open mics in Kansas City had like, young people wanting to be comedians mm -hmm. and then open mics in LA had drifters and <laughs> like there was like maybe five of us yeah that are normal maybe three of us still doing comedy no I mean from there wasn't a lot group in Kansas City no I mean from oh. oh from the group in Kansas City yeah probably three okay uh, and plus Dustin Kaufman owns a club oh right 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 so at least he's sometimes still in he goes comedy. on yeah um but yeah, not many that I know of. That's so funny. I, I found old video footage of, that I recorded from when I was like probably 19 or mm -hmm. 20 doing shows at Stanford and Sons. <laughs> and uh, what I found was that I recorded like two of my sets and I had like 15 sets of the worst Kansas City comics because yeah. I love to get high and watch <laughs> the worst comics we had. So I have like 
I have I love honestly that. like probably 30 minutes of this one comic. Uh, shout out to Tony Roach was his name. Oh, I like that and name. And he did the same three minutes every time. Same three minutes. And I, I, for some reason, I'm like, I better catch a set again. <sighs> so I have them like in different know, outfits doing the special, same show. That's it's a, a special very obsession. special thing to be able to do the it was, same three minutes. It was all difference between black people and white people jokes no and uh is there a difference there is and uh yo how, how do white people how, y'all see a cockroach what do y'all do y'all call the exterminator black people what do we do we shoot that motherfucker right asian people what do y'all do y'all scrape that motherfucker in the skillet and keep on cooking i'm tony roach y'all that was the closer killed right killed. Crushed. just crushing kansas city every week <laughs> This dude was, it was like, man, I just got to keep polishing this three. This is going to take me. And this dude was probably 50. I got 50, a solid three. He was probably 55 in 2000. Oh, my God. So he's. So I'm sure he's. He's crushing it. Yeah. He always He might wore, be at three and a half minutes. He'd at wear this like point. a FUBU football jersey tucked into khaki pants or khaki shorts. He was just awesome. Oh, uh, I wish I met him. Yeah. I right. wish I knew him. And it's weird looking back. Like, so I. I literally watched all this footage and I thought my god I, I literally just recorded the worst ones because that's what I enjoyed that's how much I hate everything <laughs> I, 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 I always the did I like the, the worst or the weirdest yeah. or the oddest yeah you always wait for that like the guy who shot his face off we always waited no face no face Dude, we call waited. him by his name no I'm so, face. So, I'm so sorry yeah. uh, who never addressed it what yeah. happened don't bring it up tell us yeah remember we would be like oh which what's, what's your camera there's so many cameras this is so Only bougie one or two are working. i figured know. as much none of the mics are working right no, no, no. i figured yeah yeah, yeah. we do we you don't want to catch later. any of this gold huh we, we, they hire cheaper european actors to do our voices yeah i love it this is great you're gonna be german and <laughs> i'm gonna be <laughs> irish which is exciting awesome. <laughs> Hey, that's right. It's going to be a lot of that. Welcome back to the Comedy Store podcast. That's a Scottish, I think. A little Scotty. Yeah, I think it's Scottish. I, I, by the way, my German was going to come out almost Cuban. I don't know what I was thinking well, in my a, head. I was that's, like, that's... Welcome back to Accents. Uh, I'm Rick. This is Eleanor. We're it's the so... number one comedy duo who China? does accents. I can't think of a German accent. Hold on. Uh, Heil Hitler. I, 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 sorry. Almost, I'm First so all, sorry. I didn't mean to say that's it, the only thing that, they and say. And it but. sounded like a Scottish person saying it, which is weird. <laughs> hey! Weird. We were doing accents the other day on the radio. I literally have no idea. Mine was so bad yeah. that I was like, oh, and then everyone else's was even worse. So I was like, thank goodness. I'm not the only one. Uh, when I did my Australian accent in Australia, they got so mad. And then that made me just do it even harder. Oh, of course. You have to do it. If, you, if it's bad yeah. and you're doing it in front of them, it's even better. It's way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, because listen to this dig cunt. <laughs> thinks he's up here talking like last night. Yeah. And they're just like, that's not what we sound like. <laughs> yeah, it right. That's what you my... sound like, you dig cunt. <laughs> <laughs> they do say cunt every other word. Yeah. But if you just say normal cunt, that's not offensive. It's only if you apply an animal to the word cunt Ooh. that the Australians start finding it offensive. And like, it, the scale goes up. The bigger the animal, the bigger the cunt. Yeah, elephant cunt. Kangaroo cunt. Uh, you're like cunt. a huge okay, cunt. I like that. Okay. Elephant They're not smart cunt. people. Elephant They're the best. Elephant is one of my favorites. Yeah. They're the best. Suck elephant cunt. You mu- uh, so uh, anyway, come check out shows at the Comedy Store. Oh, is it uh, over? Yeah. I, we, can, we can wrap it up. It's a little over an hour. What time is it? Um, it is 10.20. 10.20. Oh, I have a spot soon. Yeah, it's right. And the so, thanks for tuning in to the Gormley Still podcast. I think I should take accents off my resume. I don't think so. <laughs> Hey, for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. What's up, I was, I was doing, an imp- uh, when I was on tour, I was doing an impression I of can drink my... Some tea. Uh, my driver, mm-hmm. I, I, they had they would send a driver to pick me up and take me to the airport. So I was doing my impression of the driver, and this girl who's like a friend of someone on the tour, she was like, uh, "Excuse me, you can't do that impression." And I go, "What?" And she goes, "It's it's inappropriate to do an impression of a minority." And I go, "Well, how do you know it was a minority? Maybe it was just maybe it was just a white guy who clearly was a Hispanic guy." <laughs> 
And she's like, well, you can't do it anymore. I'm like, 100% you can. Uh, because that's how the guy sounded. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, well, yeah, I but you can't do that. I hate when they say that. You can't do that. I go, for what? In a conversation between me and three of my friends and some lady who's on the tour because you're friends with someone? I don't care. Well, you wouldn't be able to do it on TV. I go, I- I'm literally telling a story to my friends. What the fuck are you talking about? So anyway, my I'll point is... I'll do it on TV too. Just wait. You're going to see me doing this impression of Esteban. <laughs> and that thing's going to be the one that takes me to the top. You're going to do it on Fallon. Hey, my son. <laughs> this guy was the best. He spent a solid 10 minutes telling me about how his son wants to do podcasts. And he, doesn't, he doesn't really know what that is. He knows it's like radio, but gay. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, to tell that now That's on accurate. a podcast, it's so meta. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, he, there was just a lot of him accusing his son. You know what he does? He plays video games all day. <laughs> I was like, man, you got him again, Where man. was this? He was driving me. Actually, he was driving me to, uh, we had a gig at a, in Palm Springs. I love him. At a, uh, it was, we were the first show ever at this arena in Palm Springs. Okay. And so it took like five hours to get out there. And this guy just <sighs> spent the whole time going on and on about his deadbeat son. His loser son. I go, wait, is he making money? I don't know. He plays video games all night. If you're making money playing video games, you probably work the day shift. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, it doesn't even make sense, but I love it. I mean, this guy's got it. Working at night? What do you, what you do? Playing video games, shooting people, man? Join the army if you want to shoot people. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, yeah, dude. This guy's oh, yeah. great. It's American. This is yeah. American. He was a patriot. A true patriot, yeah. He was from uh, Garden Grove. Okay. He mentioned that about 900 times. I like that. That's Orange County, man, but it's real Orange County. <laughs> and then he would do this menacing eye thing. He'd turn around and look at me when he said the it. Real, real Orange, Orange County. County. This sounds like yeah. a guy I may or may not have dated. Yeah, well, yeah. he definitely would, you know, dip his toe in the waters if possible. <laughs> he was 100% straight. Unlike my son! <laughs> so. <laughs> That's um, so funny because Freddie Soto, his father used to say, my, I thought my son was gay. Constantly. Yeah. At their wedding. Yeah. In the speech. It's a very, very large. He goes, hey, you see his sneakers? Gay. Anxiety. That's, what? That's what up uh, like Hispanic he wore red boomers. Red socks. Gay. Hispanic <laughs> boomers. That's their number one anxiety. <laughs> their son could be married for thirty years, and they're still yeah. like, you never know. You know what I saw him eating? Funyuns. Funyuns. <laughs> Mr. Salt He's probably putting them on dicks and stuff. <laughs> what? Funyuns? Who's putting Funyuns on dicks? <laughs> My son. All right, calm down, man. Just drive me to the gig. Um, oh, Eleanor, where it. can they see you? This is coming out uh, February of 2026. I don't even know when it's coming out, but still check out my special. Check out Eleanor's special. No Country for Old Women. That's so fantastic <laughs> as a title. It is. Um, you should have. It's doing good, though. You should have murdered somebody. I wanted like that to. movie. Thinking At least use the cattle thing. I love that. Yeah, yeah that silencer. Brain someone in Killer. the fucking front row. Fuck yeah. You didn't know the title when you filmed it. Otherwise, you would have murdered someone in the front row with the... I mean, I murdered. Yeah. But not someone. Not, not A whole blood, audience. Not blood and guts. <laughs> murdered. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, check it out. It's on YouTube. Or... It's still on the, the YouTubes, on Comedy Central. I mean, on the Comedy Store <laughs> YouTube. It's the Comedy <laughs> Channel. See? Yeah. Ricky gets it. Um, so check that out. It's good. And... Uh, yeah, you got tour dates and stuff on yeah, your website. Yeah, yeah, on my website, eleanorjkerrigan.com. Um, and then what about you? Check out my website. I don't, I don't honestly have one, but <laughs> if someone makes one, check it out. That'd be cool if someone made one. Um, I just did Greg's podcast, and he was like, you don't even have a website. This guy's not trying at all. And I'm like, <laughs> we don't have a website put on he there. No my... dates available. You know what's so funny? He broke my balls about if you Google my name, it doesn't come up first. And I'm like, uh, who do I pay to get that wizardry? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And now it does come up first because yeah. Greg made such a big stink about it. I fixed well, it. He was like, you got to promote your dates, put up your I content. I hired somebody and I to go, fix Dude, it. Easy fix. No dates, no content. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> easy peasy. I exist in the real world. You hear me? And if you're watching this on the internet, I hate it. And I hate your guts. <laughs> Jesus, Harris. Anyway, calm Calm down. All right. Jim Varney was the greatest comedian <laughs> of all time.
And you guys can Google that on your internet. What's your website? What's your URL that you, that you want people to buy? Oh yeah, to to create your website. Yeah, well, actually, uh, um, yeah, I don't. All of them. Get all of them. Uh, That's exactly what he did. OnlyFans. Uh, yeah, I got that Rick one. Only. Rick Only. Uh, hot males. It's a little different. Hotmail is the same as your uh, I think email that's an old address. Whitney, that's an old Whitney Cummings like joke it. that she got from someone else. What? Hotmails. It, my email address is at uh, Hotmail, but M-A-L-E. I can't remember who it was. There's okay. some female I comic like that was around in the Tommy era. Oh, okay. I might just be blaming Whitney for a joke that's not hers, and I don't take it back. <laughs> Controversy! <laughs> Um, all right, so clip that one. Clip it, clip, clip it, clip it. And then uh, come to the comedy store and check out a show. I'll be here. I'm the shitty one with the bad attitude. <laughs> but funny. Yeah, you're going to get that. Laughs, big fucking deal. Check us out next time, right here on WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> Back to you, Argus.